Okay, uh, Nico Van and everyone, and welcome back to another reaction video. This is my reaction to a game called Tales of the Shire. It's a preview of living a hobbit's life in peace. This is this is great. You know, um, you know, I'm a fan of the uh, Lord of the Rings online game Lotro. Uh, you've probably seen some of my videos up. You know playing that game and, and uh, doing some of the, uh, you know, the, the different kind of festivals. This, you know, looks like it's more of a light-hearted, uh, fun uh, world-building game, I guess, or just, um, I don't know, just like a virtual life of a hobbit. You can see the graphics look really cartoony, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing especially, you know, the type of game it is. Um, let's go check it out. Uh, by the way, it is June 20, 2024. Okay. It's kind of a long one, guys. Like five minutes and a half, so. Oh. Oh. If your favorite part of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings books or movies is the time spent in the Shire, the lush verdant and hilly home of the habitually hungry halflings who live in holes, albeit well-decorated ones, known as hobbits, then I've got good news for you. Tales of the Shire might make you very happy, regardless of whether or not you already play and enjoy the cozy genre. I played an all-too-brief 20 minutes or so split across two save files, one from the beginning of the game after the character creation, and another from around halfway through. My takeaway after that time was exactly what I was hoping for heading into the hands-on. The Tales of the Shire is shaping up to be a relaxing, no pressure, no drama escape into the Hobbit hillside, where your biggest worry is getting a new recipe just right so you can make a new friend in town. I love the art style in Tales of the Shire. It's Shire. Tales of the Shire. Art style. The. Doesn't that. Doesn't that look like a sushi dip thing? Okay. First, I love the art style in Tales of the Shire. It's bright, sunny, and overall just pleasant, as it should be. The village feels big without feeling overwhelming or annoying to navigate. And on mm. that note, I adore the designer's twist yeah, on the compass or arrow pointing you in the direction of, kind of your of current games. objectives that so many games kind use, or to compare it to another charming fantasy game, the Golden Breadcrumb console. Trail and Fable. Here, back when in the you late mark 90s, the destination on your map, 2000s. adorable birds will land on fence posts or tree oh. branches ahead of you every 50 feet or so, literally pointing with their beaks in the direction you're supposed to go. It's mm. a great, unintrusive touch that keeps you looking at the beautiful game world rather than constantly pulling up the map. Music, oh, too, is as mellow and delightful as you'd expect. I saw the basics of the cozy gameplay mechanics during my demo. Cooking, building relationships with your fellow hobbits, as well as both interior design and wow. landscape architecture. The latter two are the most simple, mechanically speaking, but also hmm. allow you to most customize your hobbit home. Outside, oh, I picked it. up a watering can from the garden, refilled it in the adjacent stream, which, by the way, you can also fish out of in other locations, like off of a bridge, and then set about watering the plentiful amount of vegetables in my garden. This, I should add, was the mid-game save that already had a rather impressive garden planted and thriving. From there, you can, if you choose, rearrange the placement of your plant beds however you see fit. So if you want to have a nice, unspoiled lawn on one side of your hobbit hole and cram all of your plants into a dense garden on the other, go for it. Mm. Inside the house, meanwhile, you can do the same micromanaging yeah. levels of home decoration. 
You can move rugs, isn't tables, very familiar chairs, if you play ESO? anything that isn't part of the foundation, really. Although even there, yeah, Fallout you've got 4, options. Fallout 76, you can choose the yeah. style of your walls from wood patterns to wallpaper. But it goes deeper than that. You can even rearrange individual pieces of fruit on tables and individual books on your yeah. bookshelf. Oh. As for cooking, that's where the most gameplay I saw factored in. Mm -hmm. Hobbits love to eat, of course, oh, so the best way to make new friends and improve your relationships with hobbits you already know is to cook a meal for them. That first involves getting new recipes. After you've received an invitation in the mail for the meal, that is, effectively yeah, fighting or anything, quest, this is then gathering this is all great. of the correct ingredients and finally bringing everything together in the kitchen. You can choose how chunky life of or a smooth hobbit you cut some things Lotro. by pressing A a certain number of times. Before the a more complicated Lotro. cooking moment I experienced involved adding just the right amount of salt in order to spice up the recipe just right, indicated by a plotted point on a small chart in the corner of the interface. Mm -hmm. Crispy fish. Yum. The seasons all change all, like it's Tales yet. of the Shire was exactly what I was hoping it would be. A zero stakes, relaxing time spent yes. in the Shire. Good for ASMR video, I think. This game is set after The Hobbit, but before The Lord of the Rings, so the scouring after of the, the Shire Hobbit, is still far, far away. Yeah. But hopefully, Tales' release is much closer in 2024. Close. Yes. For yes, more on please. Tales of the Shire, check out the original announcement trailer and for everything else in the world of Depending video games, on the price, I mean about it right away. I could use like something really simple like this. Although the next game I do intend to get possibly sometime this month or end of this month or something uh, is missed. That is on sale. I have to get it before I think June or July July 15, no, July 11th, I think. <clears throat> uh, that is one that I wish to start. Um, by the time that I, by the time of, at the time of my recording this, and by the time you see this, um, I would have already recorded my first impression video of, what was it called, the Bloodstained, or Bloodstained, A Ritual of the Night, which is basically... Castlevania Symphony of the Night, but just with uh, characters, story, and lore, <clears throat> you know, changed a bit to be something fresh and new because, uh, you know, it's the same creators of that game. Uh, but that game, you know, I may just record every once in a while, you know, it won't really be a, a full Let's Play, something like that would just be too much. I'll be playing mostly that game, uh, you know, off camera. And then if I decide that I have nothing else to really record um, and I just want to uh, put up something different, I'll do a session of, of that one, of uh, Bloodstained, probably. Um, same goes for, for this one as well, this uh, Hobbit game. Uh, but Mist, I intend to go through it from beginning to end. That will be a full playthrough of that game, full, um, you know, let's play that I typically do like a Skyrim, Daggerfall and all that okay, so anyways that is it hope you all enjoyed and see you